Hello, I'm Luxbrush, and here's my quick thoughts on Ponies Anthology 3. While I thoroughly enjoyed it all the way through, there were some parts that were kind of slow to me, or I didn't quite get the joke, or the joke was like, oh, okay. Yeah. But that was few and far between. It had a nice steady rhythm to it. It had a better flow than the others in this series, particularly much better than Anthologies 2, which I felt had lots of moments of slowdown where the rhythm was good, but the jokes kind of felt forced or slowed. This one, it had a good flow throughout. I didn't feel like it was slowing down anywhere, except for maybe one or two spots, but those didn't really matter much. Just to make sure on this, I watched it a second time, and I was still entertained for all of it. And time just flew by while I was watching it. That's how much I was enjoying it. I definitely felt that I didn't want it to end. Most of the jokes I got... I think it's because I've been in the fandom long enough now that I know most of the reference humor that a lot of video makers have a tendency to use in their work in this community. Also, I've been in the geek community long enough that I'm able to pull up most of the references, like a lot of the Val references about how they almost never, if never, make a third game in the series. One of my particular favorites in the anthology was the Pinkie Pie one with a song about the Babe of the Power. Well, that's mainly because Labyrinth was one of my favorite movies, and that really surprised me and made me really happy when that happened. I particularly enjoyed the section where it was a animation that went along with that old D&D audio file that's been around for a while that I've heard several puns or skits made of. The animation for that was stellar. It had a nice style to it. It flowed well. I like how the editors of the anthology intercut it so other things were in between sections of it. The Metroid one was another well-done one, and the fact that Fluttershy was the one in the Metroid outfit kind of made it kind of very funny. It went along really well. It made surprisingly a lot of sense, and the fact that she was able to verbally beat down Mother Brain was great. Apparently the stare worked through Samus' armor, and I really liked at the end where we had a couple of endings, like three or four. I think it was three. We had the panning down the hallway ending, then we had the animation that was a parody of Pantyhose, Stalking, and Garda Belt, which is a great anime that has lots of stylistic choices in it, and just some whacked out humor that you have to be ready for. And then we got that weird long pan down the hallway to a picture of Applejack. I don't know the reference, but that's probably a reference to something. I need to look it up. Well, there's my thoughts on Ponies Anthology 3. Thank you for listening, and hope to talk to you soon. Here's a quick update. I actually have a date for my next upload. It's going to be my Nintendo Thoughts, and that will be uploaded on Wednesday. Hopefully. That should be the date, because I already have everything prepared. I just need to do some fine-tuning, and it will be up.